The following podcast was recorded live in front of no one, except my dad and his best friend. This is Survivor Talk with D&D. I'm Dwayne. I'm David. And we're just two best friends talking about the show we love. So you ready, David? Top Chef. Here we go. <laughs> we do actually like that show, but that's we don't have a podcast for that one, David. So I don't I don't know if we could do a podcast for that one. I don't know either. <laughs> talk about, just talk about the food. It make me hungry. <laughs> Oh, you caught me off guard on that one. <laughs> All right, so tonight is our listener feedback show for episode four of Survivor One World. Wow, was it ever an episode where we read, share, and discuss your feedback, even though you didn't ask for our opinion. So, although I think um, based on one of these feedbacks, I think they won our opinion on this, but I guess we'll, we'll get you back. I think on. they just want us to be up on Sunday night recording a podcast. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So we have um, four feedbacks to go over tonight, including an audio feedback, our first ever audio feedback. Awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. We're almost at the big time. That's right. So uh, let's get to the feedback. You ready? Go for it. All right, we're going to start off with Bert, and Bert is the one. Okay, Bert, I'm sorry, but I had to do this. Hey, Bert. Okay, that it. <laughs> I was think I was just thinking, oh, he didn't do an Ernie joke. <laughs> He's, I hope Bert's not upset with me, but I have a guy in my choir. His name is Bert, and I always go, hey, Bert. Something tells me Bert's heard that before. <laughs> he probably has. All right, so here we go. I think the guys really blew it last episode because dot, 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 dot. The guys should be up eight to six right now, and dot, 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 I don't know what he wants us to do with that. Do you? I think he just wants to mean he's continuing his thought. Oh. But I liked your dot, 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 Okay. Good sound effects for dots on a page. I thought he was like going, he wants us to finish these sentences, but I guess not. Oh, no, I think he's just continuing his thought. All right. Sorry, Bert. That was my ignorance. David saw it for what it was. My apologies. Of course, he's going to write now and say, no, what I wanted you to do. <laughs> yeah, really. It was wrong. That's right. All right. From the new previews, which I went back and watched, I, there's a new preview out, and they I confirm ju- I what I said. I just you saw, saw it, it today. today. Hey, um, do you remember what I um, predicted last uh, in week three? Did you, did you, you remember? No, I, I just kind of wiped that from my memory. Uh, yeah. I think I predicted a tribal mix-up in episode five. What is our name for that? A theory, I guess. What? No, the gender blend. Oh, the gender blend. Come on, blend. man. I'm getting t-shirts made and everything. Come on. <laughs> the gender blend. <laughs> yeah. All right. For... <laughs> Bert's going, get on with my feedback already. <laughs> I wrote more than that. <laughs> yeah. From the new previews, it now looks like four girls and three guys on one tribe and three girls, three guys, and Colton on the other <laughs> tribe. <laughs> what? Is That's Colton... an interesting way to divide them up. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think Colton is a guy. So yeah. three girls and three guys. At least he oh, started the show guys. as a guy. So yeah, on the other tribe. So um, I, I don't know about that one. I didn't look at it close enough to be able to tell. I did. Oh, and do you agree with him? Well, that? it looks like Colton starts his strategy. I would only presume after the tribes have been split. And if you count who he talked to, he talked to Tarzan, Leaf, and Jonas, who are all wearing orange buffs, as were Alicia. Ma- Monica and Christina. They put Alicia, Monica, and Christina on the same tribe? This is a random thing. I don't think this is a we CBS wow. big thing. I think this is part of a – I think this is – well, I don't know if it's part of that first challenge, but I think it happens before that first challenge. Like yeah, yourself. yeah, because he goes, before we do get, get along with this, we have something else, and they put right. up the thing. That would you show be, who Colton's talking to. I know. Yeah, that Alicia, would be great for Chelsea and Kimberly and them. Chelsea – at least Chelsea – Kimberly, Kat, and Sabrina on one tribe. Oh, sweet. With Mike, J and Troyzan. That's not bad. I don't that's think that's a, bad. That's a strong, com- yeah. that's a very nice tribe over there. Ooh, where that's my tribe. Have, What's their name? Freaks over here. That's my tribe. I, I wonder what, what their what, name's going to be. What color is the men? The men right now are orange and the women are blue? I don't know, but that's who I need to pick to win. Dude, we're supposed to know these things. <laughs> you know, see, see that's... We'll get to our are we changing our fantasy picks? But you're right. What you just said is is causing me to work on my picks again. Yeah. You need to email me what you just told me about the tribes and who you think's on what tribe. You need to email that to me. 
Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Do you think that Superfan Colton knew a tribal mix was coming soon and saw an opportunity to get rid of a physical male in Bill? Or was the last tribal council switch basically based mainly on emotion? Well, I have an answer to that one. I believe Colton had no idea the tribal mix was coming. And uh, this is a huge wrench in his plans. And getting rid of Bill was completely personal. I don't know how emotional it was. I don't think Colton has a whole lot of emotion when it comes to this. I think it was just pure personal. See, I think by listening to past seasons and even some of the extra reviews here, every player has got a strategy. They're not all out there as dumb as coconuts. You know, even though they looked that way last week, I think every player has a strategy. But I agree that Colton got rid of Bill because he just didn't like Bill. Yeah, he may have thought Bill would be a physical challenge later. But I agree. I just don't think he had any care for Bill, didn't want to look at him anymore. And it was personal, which is what makes him a supervillain. And you know what else it did for Colton? What? It further solidified his leadership in that group. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I said it last week. He he. He kicked the little stone off the top of the hill or the snowball off the top of the hill. And as it went down, it got bigger and bigger. And he just sat back and watched. But he started it all. And uh, it's they just did whatever he wanted. <laughs> all right. He continues. And with the mix happening, it looks like a very, very bad move for the guys. And I don't even think it helps Colton, does it? He's talking about Bill voting off. I, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it helps Colton at all. No, because it would have been 4-3, four, 4-3 three, four, three if they did it even. Yep. And they both favor the guys. But no, they had to go back to the tribal council. All right. All right. Thanks, Bert. That was a great feedback. We enjoyed going through it. Now we have our first ever audio feedback from Scott in New Jersey. Hi, guys. This is Scott in New Jersey. Please excuse me if this goes a little bit long, but there's a few points I'd like to make. I cannot comprehend the game the Monono tribe is playing. Why volunteer to go to the one place you do not ever want to be in Survivor, Tribal Council? It doesn't make any sense to weaken your tribe and lose the number advantage for really no reason. Even if they considered Leaf's mistake as such a betrayal, it didn't have to alter their plans at all. They still could have voted Bill out at the next opportunity. Yep. They agreed that it had to be a unanimous decision to go to Tribal Council. I heard in interviews that Bill said he believed he had an alliance with some of the other guys on his tribe, and he thought Leaf would be going home. He also thought there might be a chance of convincing everyone to vote out Colton. This is what they should have done. It was the perfect opportunity to blindside him and send him home with the hidden immunity idol in his pocket. If I were Bill, unless I was absolutely certain that I would not be going home, I would not have agreed to go to tribal council. At the very worst, I would last three more days and go home at the next tribal council. But with those three days, I would have the opportunity to try to change the course of things and save myself. Yep. Also, there are so many unknowns in Survivor that things happen all the time that shift power, such as the tribal shakeup that's coming this week. The men were foolish when they approached the women about going to tribal council. When they made the offer, they should have at least asked in exchange for the use of the canoe or fishing equipment, not just to go in their place with nothing to gain. Another foolish mistake. Lastly, Colton is quickly becoming the most despicable survivor ever. With each time he opens his mouth, he becomes more difficult to watch. He is lucky he is playing with a bunch of sheep that are just going along with everything he says. It doesn't make sense that they allow him to call the shots because he has the hidden immunity idol. That should make him a target, not a leader. If Russell Hance were playing with this clown, he would toss that throne into the fire. Maybe with him still sitting on it. <laughs> These guys just missed the best chance that they had to get rid of him. He's so confident that he wanted to go to tribal council. Last week, he announced he had the idol and was confident enough not to play it. They really messed up by not taking advantage of this and blindsiding him. Well, I'm really looking forward to this week's episode to see how the tribes shake up and see the men have to start playing the game of Survivor. It should be exciting to see some scrambling to form new alliances and to have competition against former ones. Keep up the great job you're doing with the podcast. I'll be looking forward to listening throughout the season. Thanks, guys. All right. Great, Scott. That's his first um, feedback. So we'll get to the next one in just a second. Um, I agree with you, Scott. Bill should have never agreed. 
absolutely should have never agreed. Yeah, we went into great detail about that. We could not come up with you – know, I would love – if you have an idea of when you should ever go to Tribal Council, put it on Facebook or our blog and – Tell us what you think, because I would love to debate somebody that can tell me a reason to go to tribal council. Okay, well, I can tell you the only reason why I would have gone if I was Bill. <laughs> okay, Mr. Point, counterpoint. <laughs> well, here it goes. If I had secured everyone on with me except for Greg, crazy Greg, that we were going to actually vote out Colton, then you go to tribal council. Then you turn Colton's thing around. Well, see, he, was, he stated in his exit interview, just like Scott said, that – Bill is about 70% sure he had that. That's the only reason he agreed to go to make all guys that agree to go to tribal council was he was about 70% sure he thought he had that. But no, once I, it, I thought he said so that they were going to vote out Leaf. No, he actually had a group ready to vote out Colton. Wow. He thought they were going to vote yeah. out Leaf, but on the way there, he had four or five guys talking about voting out Colton. Yeah. And um, well, once all the conversation started and nobody spoke up, he said he knew that he had made a mistake. Well, you know what? All those other guys, they need to get off the island because that's just ridiculous. But you have an opportunity to kick the leader who's just sitting around on his throne doing nothing and ruling like that. You have an opportunity to get him off the island, and you don't take it. That's just stupid. Well, I, think, I like Scott made a good point about the guys are going to actually have to start playing Survivor this week yes. once the tribe swap up. But I think that's going to happen. I think some of those guys, like Mike, were actually following – Colton's lead because they didn't want to be on the block. Yeah, Get me well. past one more week and I'll go three more days. That's but true. Bill just kind of threw himself on the on the block to try and get rid of the guy. So I yeah. I like Bill. I liked him after this weekend. I, I agree with Scott that the idol should make Colton the target, not the leader. Right. And they ought to throw that thrown in the fire. I thought that was hilarious. Uh, that's so funny. Russell would throw him with possibly with Colton still sitting in it. Yeah, in absolutely. All right, anything else on that first one that he said? No, that was really good. All right, well, let's hear this. He uh, called back and did a second one, so here we go. Hi, guys. It's Scott again. I just thought of an interesting possibility for the tribal swap. If Colton gets sent to the Solani tribe, with him being in possession of the Monono hidden immunity idol, would he then have to give it up to somebody on the Monono tribe, or would he be allowed to keep it since it was given to him prior to the tribal swap? It would be great if this is how it turns out because that would take away all his power, leave him vulnerable, and hopefully going home very soon. Just putting it out there for you guys to discuss. Keep up the good job. Talk to you later. All right, so Colton and the men are the Monano tribe right now, yes. and the women are the Solani tribe. Right. The idol doesn't belong to the tribe. It belongs to the men. That's what I got out of the show. Okay, I got out of it. It belongs to whoever she gave it to. And she but it's, gave a, it but to it's Colton. a men's idol. It was it's when not she a tribe found idol. It's a men's idol. So right. Colt keeps it, and it's still his idol. That's right. I don't that's think what, it. That's, yeah. yeah. I don't think it. And and once you get an idol, you can give it to whomever you want. So right. I mean, once once she once Sabrina did what the idol instructions said to do, the idol is now free game. I uh-huh. mean, he could have turned around and given it back to her. No, that idol can only be used by a man. That's a man's idol. She said she read it and said this idol belong is only for a man to use. It they haven't found the woman's idol? idol yet. They haven't found the woman's idol yet. How do you tell a male idol from a female idol? By the note that's with the idol. Or she read the note enough? that was with the idol. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I was you thinking really that. Was... Ask that question. <laughs> I was thinking maybe there was something on the idol that made it very obvious. One's okay. wearing a hat like a cowboy hat. All right. <laughs> One's wearing a. Different. Okay, so you're saying that the his idol is a man only idol, and he could can not I, give it to somebody even if he wanted to. He couldn't give it to a female. I bet he could. No, he can't. Eh, eh, I bet he could. Go back and watch episode one where she finds it, and it says this can only be used by a man. Okay. All right. You and I are disagreeing on this because I believe that when she found it, it said this is for the Manano tribe. And that you have to give it to one of them before the next tribal council. And that once she gives it to somebody on the Manano tribe, it's just an idol after that. I don't see why he couldn't play it. But you don't agree with me, and that's fine. We'll just go on. We're still best friends. And I'll find it out on CBS.com and post it later. Okay. All right. Well, and maybe somebody has an opinion that could put it. This would be a great discussion for the uh, Facebook group. Well, that's what I'm going to post. I'm going to post it on Facebook, what I find tonight on CBS.com. Okay. 
All right, we're going to move on because um, I have to edit this tonight and get to bed by a decent time. <laughs> by tonight. <laughs> yeah. So uh, next is from Carissa, and she writes, Okay, instead of one world, it should be what in the world? These guys are idiots. Who in their right mind would give up immunity just because someone, quote, betrayed their trust, unquote? Hello? Like that hasn't been done on every single game? Plus, they didn't even vote out Leaf, who was the betrayer, after all, but stuck with the original plan to vote off Bill, who was a powerhouse in challenges. No, they keep the guy who acts more like a girl than I do and has brought absolutely nothing to the table except a bunch of drama. Well, I say more power to the girls at this point. They are definitely outwitting and outplaying them at this stage in the game. The guys deserve what they get. Girls rule. Hmm. I wonder where she stands. I wonder who she's rooting for. (laughs) Well, when this was over, Terry asked me, she goes, why are you so frustrated? I said, because the guys might as well just give half the season away. They might as well all just walk off the island because the girls are not as dumb as they are. The girls are playing smarter. Yep. Excellent feedback, Carissa. Excellent. You got anything else to say about that one? Well, I would comment on the girls rule, but I can't. (laughs) Just right now, she's a survivor of the girls rule. The girls are ruling right now. The guy, the, the boys, girls, and, boys are drooling. Yeah. Sure, here's an ember. Help yourself. Yeah. Oh, I I wanted to go back to Scott because he made a comment about how the guys. Okay, Greg goes up on his way back from the beach and does his stupid comment to the women about how they're probably going to let them go to tribal. Bad move. Like what Scott said, they should have waited. And once they decided they were going to go to tribal, then go to the girls and go, hey. We'll go to tribal if you give us your boat or if you give us something and barter for it. That was a good point. Oh, that was a great point. You're right. I heard really that. And I didn't point. think about that because we, we got stuck on the other points. That's a great, that was a great point. Yeah. Okay. So, but of course, that was just Greg talking out of somewhere other than his brain. <laughs> You're right. All right. So, Carissa, I'm sorry that we interrupted your feedback with Scott's again. <laughs> but, yeah, absolutely, Carissa. Girls rule. We're going to support you on that. All right, our last one is from Sylvia. Sylvia is from San Diego, California. Hi. Oh, my gosh. What just happened? Give up immunity and go to tribal? Are the men all crazy? Why are they letting Colton run the show like this? I just can't believe it. I've never seen an immunity idol wield so much power before. Don't the men understand that Colton having an idol doesn't mean they can't vote for him? I wish they'd taken the chance to flush out the idol, at least. I was just disgusted with Colton's behavior, and I hope he is gone soon. Bill seemed to handle Colton's attacks with class, and I have to say, this is the only time I wish we still had Redemption Island. Hoping the girls continue to win, and can't wait till next week. Sylvia. Well, Sylvia, as much as I agree with you, I still don't want Redemption Island back. Agreed. Agreed. However, we already have agreed with you on many of these statements. Absolutely. See, the more I kept watching that, the more I'm wondering if Colton's um, leadership was only fed by these guys allowing him to do it. Because like I was saying, some of these guys just didn't want to be on his radar. Right. They just wanted to stay out of the picture. Yeah, they're all scared. So, yeah, exactly. And my, Mike, to me, is not scared. He's smart. Yeah. So he's playing the scared so right. that he stays on Colton's good side. Right. And probably hopes in that in three days they're going to swap up and then he's going to start right. taking target practice at Colton. Right. So... All right. Yeah, that's good. That's a good feedback. Uh, Sylvia, we agree. We do think Bill handled Colton's attacks with class. When you say yes. so, David? Absolutely. Yeah. So, all right, Sylvia, great feedback. Great feedback from everybody. Did you like that, David? Loved it. I did too. So we do have a new iTunes review. Thanks to S Lebo 0126. Now this is. In, I don't know if you've ever watched Hogan's Heroes. Every episode. But this is obviously LeBeau from Hogan's Heroes. Or it could be Scott that just gave us the audio feedback as well. Or it could be Scott. <laughs> I was kind of thinking it may be in LeBeau, the French dude. That LeBeau, I don't, I don't think he's around anymore. No, probably not. Uh, so thank you for the positive review. I think re- I think positive reviews help a lot, so we really appreciate it. Oh, definitely. Because both Dwayne and I read reviews all yep. the time. And not just ours. Not just the ones <laughs> left for us. <laughs> But, oh, I thought you meant the ones that we write. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, is there anything you want to add or ask? Uh, you want to talk about fantasy picks? 
As a matter of fact, I'd love to. Well, go for it then. I'm um I'm going to go with my foreshadowing theory and the fact that with the new preview, they showed what I think is Colton's new tribe and the person who seemed to be kind of figuring out that Colton was trying to play both sides will be Colton's next target. And who is that? That was Monica. No, they can't get rid of Monica. Foreshadowing. I'm just foreshadowing. Nah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that if they're orange now, they are Monano. Because I'm pretty sure the, the women were blue and the men were orange. Yeah, so they'll keep the same colors. Right, so they'll be, they will be Salon, they will be Monano. Okay. And the women, the other team will be Solani still. So I'm picking Solani to win, to win reward. <coughs> and, um, well, there's no immunity question, but I would pick Solani to win immunity and put Colton's team in jeopardy, which is why they're, Colton's running around scheming. Right. It okay. looks like he's scheming and playing it. And to me, Monica looks like the one that's figuring it out. Right. And he's asking everybody if they're on the same page. And this is this is looking too much into a preview, but this right. is me asking everybody if they're on the same page except for Monica. He's only yeah. telling her that he's playing he's not playing both sides, but he is. Right. So I I'm putting of course, what I hope they do is blindside the guy and knock him off with an idol in his pocket. That was your theory that, last week. Because he said that wasn't gonna happen. So I've got ten points on Colton and ten points on Monica. Now if their oh. tribe wins immunity you crazy. If their tribe man. wins immunity, I'm getting zero. You are crazy, man. Zero points. Crazy, man, you are. All right, well, I'm going to take that list that you have, that you are about to give me, that has who you think are on the other tri- are on the I'm gonna tribes. Put it on, I'm going to put it on our Facebook page. Okay, you're going to put on the Facebook page, on the Facebook group. My Yes, my opinion on what the preview told us what the tribes are going to be. I'll okay. put that on our Facebook group. All right. I don't think people will mind us doing that. Okay. No, I mean, this is just my guess looking at the preview. Right. And I'm going to figure out who's on what tribe, and then uh, I'm going to say whichever tribe has Chelsea and Kimberly, et cetera, win the reward challenge. And then I'm also going to assume they're going to win the immunity challenge, and whatever group Colton's on is going to be the losing tribe, just as you said, and then I'll figure out where I'm going to put my votes, put my points after that. It's a crapshoot this week, man. <laughs> So that's why we love it. All right. All right. Well, do you have anything else you want to add? No, that was it. All right. Well, everybody be sure to place your fantasy picks. David will send out an email on Tuesday, I believe to remind you music for tonight's show is giving you all control by Jeremy camp. And if you like our show, please subscribe and review us on iTunes like Scott did this week. That was awesome. And, uh, thanks for listening. That's all I got. How about you, Dave? I'm done. All right. See you everybody. See you. All around It seems that every time I try one